Hi everyone, it's Dave from Minimatch again. In this video, I want to just quickly show you about ordering your case box and how you order scan data. So this is my case box. So at the moment you can see up here, I've got it set to scanning date. So you can have it listed with these bold headlines for each date that you scanned with all the cases listed underneath where you've created the case. Okay. You can also uh, change it to order date, so the date that you ordered the case. So you can you can search that way as well. Um, and the one that I like the most, well, let's go to none first. So you can see it just puts all the scans in whichever uh, one of these you you highlight in that order. The one I like is the patient name. So this will save um, multiple cases under each patient name. So for example, let's go to. Alice here. There's two cases under Alice's name here. So if we uh, create a new case, we can select her name already from the patients because it's saved there. And we'll call this one um, two just to dis differentiate it. And we click register. You'll see it now appears in the list here. Uh, under Alice's name. So it's a way of um, batching multiple scans from different dates but from the same patient under one heading. Okay, and you can actually manage that by using this patient management tab down here. So if you click on it, you can um, you can add new patients, so you can you can prep in patient details prior to uh, their appointment. Um, and you can also go in and select multiple ones and delete them or do whatever you want to do with them. Interestingly, you can also merge patients in here. So say for example, um, here's a scan from Sean and here's another scan from Sean. Um, I want them to be under the same heading now, so I'm gonna merge the patients. Um, it's gonna ask me which, which one do I want to use for the name, so I'll just use this one for the name. And I'll click apply. So it's done that now. So if I come back here, uh, where are we? You can see now Sean SGT, there's now two cases under it. And if we go back to our case box and we search Sean, oops, uh, this one here, you can see there's now two cases under that name. So it's a nice way if if you if you at the time putting uh, maybe the wrong patient name or the wrong details and it ends up having two instances of what effectively the same is the same patient, you can merge them together into one one patient heading. Okay, I hope that's helped a few people. As always, please go to medimatch.co.uk for all your medit scanning needs. Thanks for watching.